Good morning, children. Now we will study about the animal tissues. This is the continuation of what we have learnt in the previous class, plant tissues. So ninth science biology lesson number eighteen. Organization of tissues under which we have already completed plant tissues. Now we are going to learn about animal tissues. What is tissue? Just we will recollect whatever we have completed in the previous classes. What is a cell? Cell is a structural and functional unit of all living organisms. Cells together forms tissues. So already we have completed plant tissues. Now we will learn about animal tissue. So tissue is nothing but group of cells which perform certain specific function is called as tissues. Here in animal tissues or the study about tissues is called as histology. What is histology? The study about tissues, the study about various tissues is called as histology. Histology is nothing but it's the study about tissues. Here, this animal tissues, it is of four major types, epithelial tissues, connective tissues, muscular tissues and nervous tissues. Before that, we will learn a simple type, tissue, animal tissue itself, it is classified into simple and complex. Simple and complex tissue. Here this is a simple one is group of what is tissue? Group of cells. What is the difference between simple tissue and complex tissue? Simple tissue is group of cells which are similar. A group of cells which are similar in their structure and they are carry out certain specific function is called as a simple tissue whereas a complex tissue is group of dissimilar cells. Here it is a group of similar cells, similar means the same, same type of cells, group of similar cells which carry out certain specific function which is called as a simple animal tissue whereas complex tissue is group of dissimilar cells. Dissimilar means different type of cells which carry out specific function it is called as complex tissue. Animal tissue, the study about tissues is called as histology. What is histology? The study about tissues, it is called as histology. Animal tissues in a basic way, we can classify it into two types. First one is simple, second one is complex. Simple means group of dissimilar type of tissue which carry out certain specific function is called a simple tissue whereas complex one is group of dissimilar cells different types of cells which carry out certain specific function it is called as complex animal tissue now we shall learn the four major classification of animal tissues the first one is epithelial tissue Second one is connective tissues, the third one is muscular tissue and fourth one is nervous tissue. The first type epithelial tissue. What does this word epi means? The epi means the, skin, the tissues which cover the skin. Outer skin it is called as epithelial tissue. So we will learn first we will learn about the first category epithelial tissues. Those tissues which cover the skin or which is found over the found in the epidermal region it is called as epithelial tissues. Again in this epithelial tissues there are different types. First we will learn about epithelial tissues. So here again this epithelial tissue it is of two types simple epithelium and compound epithelium. How many types? It is of two types simple epithelium and compound epithelium. Here epithelial tissues are those tissues they 
cover the skin of the body that is they found in the outer skin of the body where these epithelial tissues usually they lack blood vessels what are blood vessels arteries veins and capillaries are called as blood vessels so here there are two types simple epithelium and compound epithelium simple and compound epithelium and in simple totally there are five types of simple epithelial tissues so first we will learn about the first one the first one is called as squamous epithelium what is the first one the first one is called as squamous epithelium so here you can see this uh, diagram you can wonder why this has drawn everything in the chart so to avoid the uh, short uh, to avoid the time consumption i have drawn everything in the chart so since the video is for limited time if it is in the class it is no problem i will be drawing so that is why i have drawn everything in the chart so here the first type is the squamous epithelium in the squamous epithelium here all these cells are with the irregular with the boundaries here you can see the nucleus all these tissues they will be found in the basement membrane so this is called as the basement membrane only on the basement membrane the cells will be arranged so squamous epithelial tissue they will have irregular boundaries found on the basement membrane and where are these squamous epithelial they are flat with irregular boundaries found on the basement membrane and where are these squamous epithelial tissues are found these squamous epithelial tissues you can see in the, uh, the internal organs you can see you can find in the internal organs these squamous epithelial tissues here in the tip of the nose in all this in the internal organs you can find the squamous epithelial tissue coming to the second type cuboidal epithelial tissue these tissues are made up of cubical cells each cell it is a cube in shape these cells are made up of cubical cells and again here you can find the connective tissue you can find the basement membrane these uh, cubical epithelial tissues you can find in the thyroid here which is thyroid vesicles thyroid means in the throat region you can find in the sweat gland in the salivary glands you can find this uh, cuboidal epithelial tissues here squamous epithelial tissues in the blood vessels in the trachea you can find this uh, squamous epithelial tissues cuboidal epithelial tissues where you can find in the thyroid vesicles that is in the throat in the thyroid gland you can find and also in the sweat glands you can find this cuboidal epithelial tissues the third one is columnar epithelial tissue what is the third one the third one is columnar epithelial tissues again this columnar epithelial tissues they are pillar like tissues sir you can see here they are pillar like cells strong pillar like cells and these columnar epithelial tissues also have the basement membrane as well as the connective tissue is found and these columnar epithelial tissues they have found in the internal organs covering the internal organs in the stomach in the intestinal region they can we can find this columnar epithelial tissue the fourth type is a ciliated epithelial tissue what is the fourth type it is a ciliated the word cilia here you can find these cells with the pillar like cells over the pillar like cells you can find hair like structure the word hair like structure itself it means cilia cilia is hair like structure the th fourth type is ciliated epithelial tissue here you can see hair like structure called cilia and you can see in each cell there is nucleus here 
what is the cilia cilia itself means hair like structure that is why the name of this tissue is called ciliated epithelial tissue here yeah, this ciliated epithelial tissue it is found in the internal organs in the buccal cavity in the pharynx in the intestinal region we can find this ciliated epithelial tissue coming to the fifth type of this simple epithelial tissue that is glandular epithelial tissue in this glandular the word gland glandular epithelium the word gland itself means secretion it secretes some substances so this is glandular epithelial tissue is found in the stomach in the gastric glands we can find this glandular epithelial tissue so this is the pic diagram of this glandular epithelial tissue here you can see there is a globular cell it is a fat cell as well as the nucleus everything you can find and it is also found in the basement membrane it is also found in the basement membrane so epithelial tissues it is of two types simple epithelium and compound epithelium simple epithelium is further divided into five subtypes squamous epithelium cuboidal epithelium columnar epithelium ciliated epithelium glandular epithelium now we shall learn about the second type of epithelial tissues that is compound epithelium what is this compound epithelium what is the difference between the simple and compound epithelium here the many layers are found in this compound epithelium they give a stratified stratified means a complex appearance in this compound epithelium here there are so many layers of cells arranged compared to this simple epithelium and this compound epithelium it gives a complex appearance a stratified appearance where are these compound epithelial tissues are found these compound epithelial tissues are found in the pharynx region in the buccal cavity region buccal cavity means the space found when you open the mouth where the saliva is secreted is called as a buccal cavity it is found in the buccal cavity and the pharynx region we can find this compound epithelia so the first type of animal tissue is epithelial tissue what is the first type epithelial tissue epithelial tissues of how many types simple epithelium and compound epithelium in simple epithelium there are five subtypes whereas compound epithelium there is no subtype here what are the functions of epithelial tissues it covers the skin it protects the skin as well as uh, it helps in the secretion of glands like secretory gland that is the saliva that is helps in the sweat gland as well as the oil gland helps in the oil gland and as well as in the sweat gland it protects the skin from any mechanical injury so that is the function of epithelial tissues the second type it is called as the second type it is called as connective tissues what are these uh, connective tissues connective tissues the important function of connective tissue they are found in between the organs in between the organs the space occupied by the organs between the internal organs is filled with a connective tissue again here there are four main subtypes in connective tissue so we will learn by one by one the different subtypes of connective tissue here the first one will be supportive connective tissue second one is a dense connective tissue third one is fluid connective tissue and the connective tissue proper we will learn about the different types of connective tissue epithelial tissues is of how many types epithelial tissues of two basic types simple epithelium and complex epithelial tissues now we will learn about the next category connective tissue again in this connective tissues there are four different types so first one will be fluid connective tissue 
supportive connective tissue, dense connective tissue and the last one is connective tissue proper. Four types. We will learn in detail what are the different types. And the third one is muscular connective tissue and the fourth one is nervous connective tissue. Okay children, so now we shall learn about the connective tissues. What is histology? We will just recollect this topic. What is histology? The study about tissues is called as histology. So animal tissues are of how many types? Two types, simple, complex. This is basic structure, basic uh, classification. Simple means group of tissue, group of similar tissues, whereas complex means group of dissimilar tissues which carry out certain specific function. Okay, now we shall learn about the connective tissues. So the space, the name connective. Connective tissues means the tissues which connects the uh, internal organs or the space occupied in between the internal organs is filled with this type of tissue is called as connective tissue. Again, in the connective tissue, this is the first type is called a supportive connective tissue. Supportive connective tissue, there are two subtypes, areolar connective tissue and adipose connective tissue. So, first one is areolar connective tissue. Here you can see this diagram. In this RLR connective tissue, it is made up of more number of elastic fibers and collagen. The word collagen means protein fibers. So it is made up of more elastic and protein. Collagen means protein fibers and you can see the nucleus. So these RLR tissues, it is found connecting the internal organs. Connecting the internal organs, you can find this RLR tissue. The second type is adipose tissue. What is the second one? Adipose tissue. Wherever you learn this word adipose itself means it is related to fat. It is fat tissue. It is fat tissue. Here you can see the picture of this fat adipose tissue. They are made up of loosely arranged cells and this adipose tissue is nothing but fat tissue and it acts as a reservoir of fat. It will help in the storage of fat and where are these adipose tissue is found? In the subcutaneous region. Subcutaneous means underlying the skin we can find this adipose tissue. The first First one is RLR tissue and a second one is adipose tissue. Where do we find this adipose tissue? This adipose tissue just we can find lying under the skin. We call it as subcutaneous region. We call it as a subcutaneous region means Cutin is a substance which is found in the skin. Lying the underlying the skin, it uh, helps this adipose tissue will store fat. So it is called reservoir of fat. So that region is called subcutaneous region. Coming to this is the first type, a connective tissue itself. There are four major types. The first one is supportive connective tissue is areolar and adipose tissue. The next one is supported uh, connective tissue proper. You have the cartilage and bone. Here, this cartilage, you can see it is a connective soft, flexible, soft tissue. And this is a cartilage which is found in between the muscles. Here, this uh, here you can uh, see this uh, speck cavity called as lacuna and these are a special type of cells and these special type of cells are called as chondrocytes they are called as chondrocytes these are they, here this cartilage you can see a, a space a cavity and that cavity is called as lacuna and these cells, these cells are called as chondrocytes. Here is the cartilage and next one is if you see the transverse section or the cross section of bone. So these are connective tissue. So here these are called as connective tissue proper. This is the transverse means cross section of bone. So when you see the transverse here, bone is very strong. It is a strong region. 
provides the framework of the body, provides the structural framework of the body. And if you see the transverse section of bone, that is the cross section of bone, in the center you have so many canal like structures, and these canal like structures we call it as lamella. These canal like structures we call it as lamella. And inside the bone we have this bone marrow substance where the red blood cells are synthesized. Bone marrow is found where red blood cells are synthesized. Here there are so many canal like structures and it is called as lamella. Central you have a canal and here where do we find bone is the structural and framework of the body and inside you have bone marrow substance where red blood cells is synthesized. Next one here we have the tendons and ligaments. Here this is the tendons and ligaments you can see these are tendons are the connective tissues which has more collagen fibers in between you have the nucleus. These are tendons so here first aralar Aerolar adipose tissue, it is a type of supportive connective tissue. This one cartilage and bone is connective tissue proper and tendons are and ligaments are dense connective tissues. Here under dense connective tissue, this is the first one tendons are a thin straps are made up of collagen fiber, they possess nucleus and the next one is ligaments. Here this ligaments. Here it is the connective tissue which is found attached to, to bones to bones. In between the bones, here this ligament, the connective tissue is found. Here it helps in the movement. So first one is tendons. These two tendons and ligaments are dense connective tissues. Tendons are made up of more collagen fibers. What is collagen? Collagen is nothing but protein fibers and they help in they are uh, these are compared to, to tendons, they are thin strands made up of more collagen fibers, whereas the ligaments, these are the connective tissues which is connected to bones to bones. They are fundamentally connected to bones to bones. This is the structure of the bone. Here are the ligaments. These connective tissues will help in the movement. Now, the second type of animal tissue, connective tissue got over. What are the four major types? The four major types, the first one is epithelial tissues, second one is connective tissues, third one is muscular tissues and fourth one is nervous tissue. Here the first two type epithelial and connective tissues got over. Now we shall learn about the, here in the connective tissues itself we learnt about the say first one supportive connective tissue connective tissue proper dense connective tissue I in that there is one more type in connective tissue it is called as fluid connective tissue it is called the fourth type is called as fluid fluid connective tissue in this fluid connective tissue we are going to learn about blood and lymph what are we going to learn blood and lymph. So what is blood? Blood is called as river of life. What is it called? It is called as river of life. Why is it so called? Blood helps in the transport of all the respiratory gases, helps in the transport of hormones, helps in the transport of oxygen. So it is helps, the, helps to eliminate the waste materials. So that is why we call blood is called as river of life. Children, we are learning the fourth subtype in connective tissue that is fluid connective tissue. Under fluid connective tissue, we are learning about blood and lymph. Blood is called as the river of life. Here, if you see the blood, the blood has the liquid portion, it is called as plasma and the blood cells. The liquid portion called as plasma and the blood cells. So what are the blood cells already you have learnt? So the blood cells, the first one is red blood cells called as RBCs or erythrocytes. Second one, 
called as white blood cells or leukocytes the third one is blood platelets what is the third one blood platelets so a blood cells is of connective tissue the fourth category is fluid connective tissue in fluid connective tissue we are learning about the blood and lymph blood is called as river of life blood it is made up of plasma is nothing but the liquid portion and along with that the blood cells here the blood cells are red blood cells white blood cells and blood platelets red blood cells are also called as erythrocytes white blood cells are also called as leukocytes platelets are also called as thrombocytes this red blood cells it is red in color and they are circular Uh, or biconcave in shape this is a side view they are circular in shape red blood cells they originate in the bone marrow and these red blood cells the life span is 120 days here it is red in color due to the presence of hemoglobin pigment and their main function is to transport oxygen they help in to transport oxygen next one is white blood cells or leukocytes again there are so many types these white blood cells they may be granulocytes or a granulocytes granulocyte a granulocyte again there are so many types eosinophil basophil neutrophil so all this is white blood cells here the main the main function of white blood cells they help in protection so they are called as the police force of the body so they fight against the germs entering the body they help in the immunity they fight against the germs granulocytes and a granulocytes are the subtypes again it is divided into lymphocyte monocyte basophil eosinophil neutrophil the third one is blood platelets blood platelets or thrombocytes they help in the clotting of blood the main function is they help in clotting of blood so what is clotting blood clotting suppose if there is an injury or a cut the blood oozes out and it has to stop after some time so that is clotting so it is this thrombocytes or blood platelets they help in clotting of blood then the next one is lymph what is lymph so so far you have learned only blood helps in the transport of gases all that or it is only fluid which runs over the body but there is one more category called lymph it is colorless mobile fluid which also helps in the transport of intracellular uh, fluids within the body so they also help in the uh, transport of fluids within the body colorless mobile fluid called lymph so this is all about connective tissues the third category is muscular tissue what are we going to learn the third category is muscular tissue so here you can see the muscular tissues there are these muscular tissues they are made of three types first one is the skeletal muscle second one is smooth muscle and the third one is cardiac muscle skeletal muscle smooth muscle and cardiac muscle these skeletal muscles are voluntary in function they are multinucleate they are multinucleate you can see the stripes so they are called as striped muscles they can see the striations here and the nucleus is there then these skeletal muscles are very important which is found over the skeletal system and especially you can see in the biceps and triceps of arm you can find the skeletal muscles and these skeletal muscles are voluntary in function voluntary means when you walk jump it you can it is voluntary in action here the next one is smooth muscle the here the smooth muscle is called as non striated muscles or non striped muscles this is uninucleate this is multinucleate this is uninucleate and this is smooth muscles we can find in the internal organs which is covering the internal organs we can find this is smooth muscles and these muscles are involuntary in action 
they don't work under our control so they smooth muscles they are involuntary in action whereas this skeletal muscles are voluntary in action these smooth muscles are called as non striated non striped muscles there is no striations and they are uninucleate and these smooth muscles are involuntary in action you can find these smooth muscles covering the internal organs the third one is cardiac muscle what is the third one these are called as a cardiac muscle the cardiac muscle is exclusively found covering the heart it is found only in the heart that is why it is called as cardiac muscle and it protects the heart from mechanical shocks for all this this cardiac muscle is used so there are three types of muscles um, in muscle muscular tissue there are three types of muscles muscles are very important to carry out uh, to vital functions the first one is the skeletal muscle it is a uh, skeletal muscle there are more striation stripes it is multinucleate they are voluntary in action found in the biceps triceps of arm second one is smooth muscles they are elongated cells elongated and they are uninucleate and these smooth muscles are involuntary in function found in the internal organs and the third one is cardiac muscles exclusively found in the heart covering the heart the last one the last one is nervous tissue what is the function of this nervous tissue the last one is nervous tissue what is the function of nervous tissue the main function of the nervous tissue is to help in transmitting the signals carried from the different sensory organs the signals are carried to the brain that is the main function of nervous tissue the nervous tissue it is made up of neurons the structural and functional unit of the nervous tissue is neuron here this neuron you can see the structure of neuron there are three main structures in a neuron the first one is cell body second one is axon and the third one is terminal end here the first one cell body or cyton you can see nucleus inside and the next one is the dendrites hair like structure they help in transmitting the signals and the one end of the cyton gives rise to a axon and the last we have the terminal end in the axon there is a sheet covering a protective sheet which is white in color which is covering this axon and that sheet is called as myelin sheet and this myelin sheet is not continuous it is not continuous and the places which is not continuous there is a construction and that place is called as nodes of renvier so axon one end of the cyton will give rise to axon and this axon covers the axon is there and here protective covering of axon is called as myelin sheath and this myelin sheath is not continuous and the places which is not myelin sheath is not present it is called as nodes of nenvier the last end of this axon gives rise to terminal end and here in this terminal end the synaptic knob is there where chemical substances is present which helps in transmitting the signals which is helps in transmitting the electrical signal into chemical signal so nervous tissue the main function what is the main function of nervous tissue it is helps in transmitting the signals it helps receives all the five different sensory organs receives the information from the environment and it is carried to the brain and where in the brain we have different regions to accept to receive this information from these different sensory organs so the main function of nervous tissues is to help in transmitting the signals so here the nervous tissue the structural and functional unit of the nervous tissue is neuron and this neuron there are three different type three main parts the first one is cell body second one is dendrites and the third one is axon cyton or cell body where there is nucleus is present and there is a dendrites here they help in transmitting the signals one end of the cyton
metal gives rise to axon and the last there is a terminal end the axon the main function of axon is also to help in transmitting the signals from the cyton to terminal end so there are four major type of animal tissues so first one is epithelial tissues the second one is connective tissues third one is muscular tissue fourth one is nervous tissue already we have learned what is this we'll just recollect what is histology histology is a study about tissues is called as histology and here this animal tissues are of two types simple and complex tissue simple tissue they are group of similar cells which carry out specific function whereas complex tissues are group of dissimilar cells which carry out some specific function is called as complex tissues here we'll just recollect whatever we have learned the first one is epithelial tissues under epithelial tissues there are different types what are those types squamous epithelial tissues columnar epithelial tissues glandular epithelial tissues ciliated epithelial tissues and compound epithelium and the second one is connective tissue under connective tissue we have learned uh, supportive connective tissues areolar and adipose and next to one connective tissue proper cartilage and bone and the third one is dense connective tissue tendons ligaments and the fourth one fluid connective tissue blood and lymph we have learned then the third one type of tissues is muscular tissue in muscular tissues we learned three different types of muscles the first muscle is skeletal muscle second one is smooth muscles the third one is cardiac muscles and the last one the fourth one the nervous tissue we learned about neuron so children we have learned about animal tissues in this video in the last video we have learned about plant tissues and plant tissues you will be learning in 10th standard in the lesson number 12 plant anatomy and plant physiology and animal tissues also you will be learning about these tissues in your higher classes in 10th standard you will be learning so animal what are tissues tissues are group of cells which perform specific function is called as tissues here in this video we have learned about animal tissues the continuation of this lesson we will learn in the next video so stay home be safe and we will continue after in the next video